Hello and welcome to the March 2022 video. This video is for Pisces. Happy birthday, Pisces. Wishing you a remarkable and beautiful birthday. Now, on the 2nd of March, we have a new moon with Jupiter happening in your sign. It's a Pisces new moon. It's birthday time. This is all about you and what you want to accomplish in the year to follow. So new beginnings, a clean slate, moving forward. Jupiter's also with it. So it's important for you to dream big because Jupiter's in your sign of Pisces. So what dreams do you have? What do you want to accomplish? What's important to you? A new moon in your sign is all about you. New beginnings for you, new dreams for you, all about you. Now on the 7th of March, we have Venus and Mars and that will be in your 12th house. Venus and Mars in your 12th house, this is a time of contemplation, rest and reflection. Mars is the planet of where we take action, we feel motivated, but the 12th house is more about closure, endings, letting go. So taking action about what you want to actually release from your life is very important. Being with Venus, this is very good when it comes to finding understanding, compassion, understanding and forgiveness and healing. The 12th house has a lot to do with rest, rejuvenation, healing, meditation. This is where we disconnect from the physical and connect to the spiritual self. A very spiritual time this will be even a great time if you're interested in anything esoteric when it comes to crystals astrology card readings anything to deepen your sense of spirituality this is a time where you can have a vivid dreams especially now mars and venus together is good for romance this can even bring in romance into your life it might even bring someone from the past maybe there's some sort of closure you need to have some sort of deeper understanding now that's very important there and for existing relationships it's also very good with mars and venus there because that's that healing aspect that can come through now on the 10th mercury moves into your sign and this is great because now you feel the need especially on the 10th going forward to communicate how you feel what's important to you especially your feelings and innermost feelings you'll feel more inclined to share that more inclined to say what's important to you. Mercury is all about communication, technology, written information to emails, texts, where we put things down. Also wanting to learn something, connection, where we communicate to others and your thoughts. Your thoughts will revolve mainly around yourself and what you want to wish and communicate to other people, what you want to take in on your day-to-day -day basis, basically what information that's important to you use that time wisely on the 18th we have a full moon in your seventh house now the seventh house has to do with relationships be it personal professional friendship wise the relationships in your life a full moon is a time of releasing now this is birthday time and it's all about you but it's important to look at your relationships and what you need to let go of what you need to release this is a great time if you want to basically bring in healing to relationships if that's what you wish to do also it's a good time to bring light on what you need to see more clearly about your relationships a full moon can give us insight it can show us things that are hidden from us it lights up the sky and it lights up your relationship sector of your chart showing you what's important when it comes to yourself and how you find the balance between yourself and others and creating boundaries within relationships if that's what you need to do how do you relate to others? How do you connect? Where are the boundaries? What do you need to do in order to release anything within your relationships that are creating blockages? How do you connect to others? Where is the healing that needs to happen if you want to take a relationship further? Especially if a relationship has been going through a difficult time, this can bring in healing. Now, if at the end of the day, some relationships might come to an end with the full moon because what it shares and brings to light for us shows us that maybe the boundaries have been crossed too many times. Maybe you've been setting the boundaries and now you need to let go. It's important to let go involved and that's how healing can happen. Very beautiful full moon when it comes to that aspect of healing and transformation in your relationships. Now on the 21st, the sun moves into your second house. On the 28th, we also have Mercury now in the second house. It's important to pay attention with the sun illuminating your talents and gifts and money. How do you earn your money? What are your talents? What are your gifts? What's important to you? Mercury will have you thinking about that. This will be great 
if you want to start anything new if you want to seek a raise <laughs> if you're looking for anything like that a promotion something to boost your income is very important here what do you want to do when it comes to that do you need to redo your resume what are those talents what are those gifts Where, do you want to apply for something is there a hobby that you have and want to create something more meaningful with it and that becomes a side hustle or maybe a big business in, in any essence this is a very creative time this the second house is about what you value as well so it's important to look at who do you value who gives you support what's important to you and that's what you'll be thinking about and that's what the sun will be illuminating on the 21st and thinking about on the 28th in the weeks to come thank you so much for watching wishing you a very happy birthday my link is down below if you'd like a reading as well as a link for appreciation of these videos